Kathy and I arrived in Cedar Key on Friday afternoon. Looking from the condo, it looked like the weather was going to be great. We went ahead and launched the boat in the inner harbor so that we had to go out underneath the road and the very low bridge that they have there so we didn't put the mast up we were gonna raise it outside the island place there but as soon as we got through the bridge we realized that the gusts were a lot more than what we thought they were they were running anywhere from 20 to 25 and then overnight they got up to 30 i guess a little bit every once in a while so we left the boat anchored for about 16 hours here as it dug its way into the, the muck that they've got in front of the island place. The weather forecasts for Saturday were that the winds would continue to increase throughout the day, so we left the boat on the trailer and finally launched Sunday morning. And they were light winds that morning and the current was running so we ended up driving around or sailing around at Sina Oti. Here you see you see uh, Eric and Jane's Wellsford designed Houdini sailing with us. Saturday night they did have a dinner at the community center and there were a, approximately 82 attendees I believe. And by the time we got around to the beach on Atsina Odi on Sunday afternoon, the majority of those folks had already left. Finally coming into the beach here, uh, Michael Jones greeted us here. Actually he caught the boat because we were coming in hot. But we left it on the beach here and looked at some of the boats. Uh, first one over there on our right was a Rhodes 19 and turning around here you'll see on the left here is our Caledonia Yall Kathleen next is Glenn and Karen's uh, Crotch Island Pinky and on the right here is Michael and Judith's uh, windmill stretch to rent windmill that Michael built And the sailing canoe, I don't know who that belongs to, but it looks like one of Hugh Horton's designs. Another shot of Michael's windmill. And Kent and Barb, their Sea Pearl 21, an early centerboard version. And we've got a little Hobie trimaran and a Wellsford Pathfinder, I believe it is. It's a Bernard and Janice's boat. They're from Georgia. This is Steve's bay hen that he has added solar panels and an electric motor to. And we've got an aluminum grooming sport boat. Rob White redesigned this boat. We built one of them. That was his improved sport boat. And we liked it real well, but since it was a power boat, we didn't hang on to it too long. Uh, in any case, they're good little boats. And this one belongs to Charlie and Colleen. And this is Eric and Jane's Houdini again. This is uh, Simon and Christie's Farrier 31. They sailed it up from Sarasota.
But anyhow, the uh, Farrier is a very nice boat. Wouldn't mind having one myself. And this was a day sailor that was converted to a power boat. Uh, I believe this guy took several good videos of Cedar Key too, so you might look for, for him. I believe his channel is Rockin' Baby.